we're looking at a cross section of a cervical vertebrae and we're able to see the spinal cord as well with all of its structures. Let's look posterior into this layer of blood vessels and fat. This is called the epidural space. If you've ever heard of somebody getting an epidural shot, they stick the needle in the back here and this is where they would actually squirt the anesthetic. Well, if there's an epidural space, well that would actually refer to the first layer of meninges, which is the dura mater, this white layer here, and then Underneath that, there would actually be a subdural space, although we can't see it on here. The next layer is arachnoid matter. Um, arachnoid matter, this is a little grayer looking um, layer here, has a large space underneath it. And the reason that space is so important is that's the subarachnoid space, and that's where cerebrospinal fluid is going to go up and down through the spine. There's another layer of meninges called pia matter, now this is spelled M-A-T-E-R, but it's Pia matter, and it's actually adhesed all the way around on the cord. It's part of the cord. Inside of the cord, there's also white and gray matter, but this is M-A-T-T-E-R. White matter is white because it has a lot of uh, myelin. And then there's unmyelinated gray matter. You notice it kind of looks like the horns on a bull. So we actually call these projections the dorsal horn, the ventral or anterior horn, and then a lateral horn. Now there are a couple of lines going forward and backward. This first one here is called the posterior median sulcus, and then on the anterior there is an anterior median fissure. We could also say the dorsal sulcus or the ventral median fissure. There's a hole running up and down through the spine, and that's called the central canal. Now if we travel outside of these horns, it becomes these little rootlets, which actually become a dorsal nor nerve root, and the dorsal nerve root has a swollen end on it here, and that's actually the dorsal root ganglion, which is a large collection of neuron bodies. Then at the anterior, We've got the ventral nerve root as well traveling along underneath it, and this is going to divide our sensory and our motor function.